Hello and welcome to episode 4 of my series about the Revox A77 Mark IV tape recorder. In this episode we'll be taking a part in cleaning the transport control board. And this board is so disgusting I'm wearing rubber gloves because I can't stand touching it anymore. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is take the relays off. So they have these little, little spring clips which have to be slid sideways like that. That comes out. These three relays are identical so it, you don't have to remember which one's which. Ooh, there's, there's goo inside the holes there. The goo actually ran down, got inside it somehow. That's not good. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the third one. Eesh. Now, the fact that the the goo has gone inside these holes means they have to be cleaned out very carefully. Um, I'm thinking of dumping the whole board in the ultrasonic cleaner after I've taken this piece off. So let's take this piece off first. So there's four screws holding that on. Let's take those out. If I just do it like this, see that they have springs and little bits and pieces so we have to take it apart very carefully remembering where the pieces go. You can see there at the top these little little bits in there holding the spring in position. Spring and then there's these these contacts which is the the actual electrical contact. When, we, when you take this out, it all goes pin and all the bit the spring will fall off. But yeah, one just fell out by itself. The, the middle one is different to the others, it has two contacts. These little little clips have to come out and make sure you don't lose them. So I'll do that for all of them. There's all the bits. Um, now you can, if you have an ultrasonic cleaner, you can just chuck them in it. Otherwise, you can use a toothbrush with isopropyl alcohol to clean that stuff off. And the same goes for the relays. Uh, I would, I'm going to take off the plastic cases and just clean everything with isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush. I don't like immersing things like that in water, so I won't do that. I'm just going to do this directly on the table. I can always clean the table later.
worst thing to do. Now I'll just rinse the parts under running water to get all the bits off and just finish cleaning them up. So the next thing to do is to clean the relays. Yeah, the goo, one of them got goo inside it, so that's tricky. But anyway, you have to take off the plastic, so... Uh, it's essential to clean these out because it's ugh, so disgusting. Yeah, if you don't clean these, it will just stick. So I'll just immerse it in isopropyl alcohol and use a toothbrush on it, I think. And same goes for the other two. The other two are not, ooh, <laughs> not as bad, I was going to say, but this one actually is really bad. This one's really gammy. It's horrible. So I'll be back once I've done it. Right, that was quite a disgusting job. Uh, I finished off with uh, some detergent. It's very difficult to get the last bit of stickiness off. But it seems like... Uh, the detergent did it this one still is a little bit nasty but it will be okay once it's back in as long as the insides of the relays are not sticky so I'm just going to use the hot air blower to dry these out And I'll just leave those to dry while I tackle the PCB. So these clips come off and you should take them off and clean them. I've given up on the rubber gloves, I couldn't do much with them on my hands, they're too thick. I just have to suck it up. Oh, there's a screw. Yeah, I must remember not to lose the screws. That one didn't get washed. Um, yeah, this is a job for the ultrasonic cleaner. If you don't have one, I guess it's a job for a toothbrush. But I want to get in where the goo went into the contact, into the sockets of the relays. I want to make sure I clean that out. So I'll, I'll put some uh, detergent in the ultrasonic cleaner in, in warm water and give that a go for... 15 minutes or half an hour, whatever it takes, that should get rid of all of that rubbish. So, we are emptying the cleaner. See what we get. So here's the clean board. It's not too bad actually. Um, I'll give it a dry with the hot air blower. Like I said earlier, I don't like to immerse anything where water might get trapped. And if I think water is going to get trapped, I use a hot air blower to try and get all the water out. So out of these, this socket, blow out the water with hot air. 
This is about 150 degrees Celsius. Don't want to be too hot because you might melt something, but this is okay. So that's it for this episode. Um, in the next episode, we will be reassembling all of this stuff and getting rid of the reefer caps. So I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.